Yeah, just a really sad situation and new tonight. We have heard from the medical examiner's office confirming the identities of the people whose lives were sadly taken in that crash. 34 year old Skylar Thornton, as well as a 38 year old Terrell Aaron. People will be mourning their loss. And meanwhile, we're also taking a look at the number of traffic fatalities that we've seen over the past year and what could potentially be done to reverse the troubling trend. A chain of collisions with a tragic end on I-5 southbound early Sunday morning. The Washington State Patrol says one car rear-ended another. A driver got out to inspect their vehicle and a third car ran into the scene, causing that second vehicle to rear-end the first car again. That first car hit its driver, sending him to the hospital. Two other people killed in the crash. Troopers say the remaining driver and any passengers with them ran from the scene. I-5 is back open today, but the loss of life will have lasting impact, a pain too many families have felt in recent years. We saw more fatalities in 2022 than we had seen since 1990. Our initial figure is 745 people who lost their lives on Washington roads. The Washington Traffic Safety Commission says preliminary data shows a spike in crashes since the start of the pandemic. Impaired driving appears to have increased and people began speeding more on emptier roads, then kept driving fast as congestion returned. The WTSC is pushing for some changes this legislative session, including proposals to lower the blood alcohol limit and strengthen driver's education requirements. But there are things drivers can do on their own. I think we know how to do this. We just need to kind of remember and recommit ourselves to doing it. At this point, it's unclear what factors played a role in this hit and run crash. Investigators hoping to know more once they find the people who left the scene. So what do you do if you ever find yourself in a crash on a highway? Well, AAA says that if you can pull as far over as possible and stay in your vehicle while you call 911. If you can't do that, it's also a good idea to try to put out some flares. Not everybody has those waiting in your car, so now might be a good time to pick up a couple of them. We're live in Seattle. Erica Zuko, King 5 News.